off the right knee of Cask. I don't know if Cask saw that, but he made the save anyway. Here's Thompson. Took a huge hit from Logan Mellish in that second period. He'll roll around up top. Feed for Mourinho on the roll. Rips it wide. McLeod's got the loose ball. Does it on the ticker. Won't be able to cut through a double team. Ty English is there to support him. Two-man game going on. English wants to feed it across. Threw it in the corner for Mourinho. He's going to have to spin. Shot clock expires. Can't get it on goal. Well, quality effort there by the Adnax defenders. Trying to hang on to a lead here now, but better shooting, I would suggest, from Burlington in that possession. Charlie. Adnax scored two in that middle frame. Here's Semple. Goal a game player in the tournament. None yet tonight. Phillips back for Semple. It's over his head. Favreau, five to shoot. Phillips stepped down over the goal. Goes off the back of the crossbar and bounces up top. How that stayed in play is beyond me. But again, you see all the way down the floor, Charney shadowing his man. He's been great tonight. Rossett, little step inside. Thompson. Rosa. Good ball movement now. Looks like Burlington's offense settled in. Thompson scores! We're back to even Steven. It's Zach Thompson with his first of the game. Well, what do they say off the floor and on the board? How about Thompson taking a huge hit toward the end of the second period? But again, a great offensive possession here. Works the top of the perimeter and just lets another low to low go. Cask can't get down quick enough. It's right between the wickets. And this game's all knotted at six. From turf to tally, Zach Thompson has his sixth of the tournament. And each team's got half a dozen. Ty Banks goes and runs it to Trumbull off that draw. And they'll give the Blaze possession. Momentum working in favor of the team wearing white tonight. Ty English trying to zip it across Mourinho. Ball got soaked by Ty Banks. Hardly flinched. You know, that one's going to leave a bruise, though. He'll be eating those in the NLL for a long time. Saris drives inside. Cask has to get back in position. McLeod's pass got picked off. Good stick by Jackson Fridge. He's probably picked off a dozen passes already in this tournament just like that. So good in the D zone. Here's Jackson Dillon now. Help comes from Dukemit. Dukemit. Dillon inside. Just goes wide and this one bounces sky high. Malowski can't pick it up and now Dukemit's dumped behind the plate. Volkov battles with Coghill for the loose ball. Who can get possession? Rosa came in. Almost put a shoulder into Shinato. Back the other way. It's Dukeman. Big boy battle as Knock comes into defense. 6 3 on 6 5. Semple defended by Cooper Jackson. Phillips. Little swim move, Phillips, one arm on his stick. It's behind, not somehow. That stings out. I think he got it with the spinning back fist. <laughs> A little unconventional, but it's going to have to be at some point for Deacon Knott. And he's done it all kinds of ways tonight for this team. Looking like he's playing spike ball in the crease. Ball's on the turf. Thompson inside. York was cutting through the middle. McLeod now, seven on the shot clock. McLeod double spin to the crease, and it's off the post. He managed to reach that so far around uh, Jack Cask that he actually put it out the crease the other side. Favreau, fourth forward off the bench. Well, we'll see if the Adnax offense can get going here. Malosky. Dukeman for Dillon on the roll. Put it up high. Save is made by Knott. Vreidenberg will push the pace. 
Ty English pairing the game. English now. Little fake shot. Goaltender cast cast to respect that opportunity. But now they'll wait and let Marin jump out off the old gate. Ty English now. Little wheel action. Marigny put it on goal. Kick saved by Kask. Big man got his own loose ball back. Down for Rawson. Thompson now. It's been all blazing period number three. Thompson. Floats one for Rawson. He got down low on Shinato. Ball got knocked free by Jackson Fridge at the last moment. Yeah. Foot in the crease, but it was great defense anyway by Jackson Fridge, getting the axe handle down, chopping it away out of the basket. Stewart Phillips. Held off the goal call so far. Phillips now works his way to center floor. Ball got ripped out the shoulder of Deacon Knott, who's locked in. 27 saves now for Deacon Knott. Cody Malowski. Toss to the turf. This Adnax defense has really adjusted from period number one where they allowed four goals because they have changed their mentality as a whole. Yeah, the Blazers suffocating Cook Whitlam right now. Uh, just two assists for Stuart Phillips, and we're looking at Miloski with one goal. I mean, these guys are difference makers, and they haven't had a ton of great looks. Rosa got bottom sided. He got hammered by Anton Giovanni. Terpin and Favaro off the bench. Favreau's got one in the game. Dukeman on the restraining line. Semple lets the righty get out in Charney. Quiet game for him so far. Semple, Favreau, Dukeman. Hard pick set by Charney. Dukeman. Shot got deflected last second. Good stick by Owen Wills. He was spinning like a cement mixer right through the lane there, and Wills was having none of it, dumping his man to the ground, giving up probably, what, 30, 35 pounds? At least. Here's Chuck Rawson. Been impressed with him. It's been one of his best games of the tournament so far. Rawson, kickback. Just a little low on Thompson, who swung and missed on it. Mellish. Up top, had Ty Banks up the floor. Uncharacteristic turnovers now for Coquitlam. Battle ensues in front of the penalty boxes. Logan Mellish, who lowered the boom on Zach Thompson in that second period. He'll leave it for the forward, and Malowski, five left on the shot clock. Now they'll just crash and bang on the boards as caught or not. Yeah, not even able to gain possession, let alone set anything up there. That's a great defensive stand once again by Burlington, who Cody halfway through this third period really has commanded momentum, I would suggest, since we got going again here. Well, Dan McCree and company have made the adjustments they need. Flip back from Marigny. Ball knocked down by Turpin. Rossen. Got around French. Rawson now back to her feet. Tried to hit York, but he went through the crease, and so he couldn't play it. Moose up. This Burlington team is very veteran based. 14 agents after this year. So if you thought they were going to crumble under a little adversity, that was not going to happen. The Ed next for comparison, only lose six after this year. Phillips. Dylan up top. Shot got soaked by Samard. Back the other way. The Blaze have numbers. Samard, Ty English, backdoor feed. It serves raw by Kask. Kask is feeling it. He's tough to beat up top. The shots that have beaten him in the third period have all been low to low. Or at least entered the net low. Phillips. Beals back up top. Semple. Tries a one-on-one -on -one drive. He's taken down. Phillips. Outside oh. look. Shot by Charbonneau. Goes off the defender's ear and into the lights. 
And in case that didn't hurt enough, he's going to get a slash across the kneecaps, courtesy Semple, and that's just the nature of the game right now. Well, they're not here to make friends. They're here to lift the Mintel Cup. Phillips finds Semple. The assistant captain to the middle. Down to the corner, Dukeman. Malelski. Little fadeaway scores! Cody Malelski stings the top corner. It's 7-6 and next. The former first overall pick in the BC Junior Lacrosse League draft absolutely unleashes one from the far side. Cuts across. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to rifle one. And what he didn't do this time is he didn't put it in the middle of the net. He was able to pick that side knot. I uh, didn't really have much of a chance on that one. There's momentum back for the Adnax who snatch a one goal lead. Second goal of the game, 10th of the Minto Cup for our Cody Malowski. Wearing his dad, Kurtz, number two, who is in attendance. Now the head coach of the Vancouver Warriors. And boy, that organization going through a change this offseason, largely in part to Kurt Malowski. Stuart Phillips 